This is the seventh video working on this pool table project in Blender. And in the last video, we pretty much finished up the table's top. And looking at the model, I was thinking that it could use a little bit of fattening up. So I'm going to select the bottom and pull that down a little bit to give it a little more body. And I'm going to pull the pockets too to give them a little more depth. I'm going to pull that down a ways. And hopefully that'll look a little bit better. Then I'll deselect that. And one thing that I haven't done yet is had a look at my normals. I'll just rotate this around so it fits better. Oh. Take a look at my normals here. So we'll look at a draw type of textured. And we're going to find that large areas of this model are actually transparent. We need to address our normals at this point in the model. So we'll come into the Mesh dialog, into Normals, and recalculate outside. And hopefully, with luck, that will set the whole model with the normals in the right direction. And it's a good idea to have a look over it. And we're lucky in this one, it's set them up nicely, they all look good. So that's good. But if it hadn't, we may have to go over the model and find the individual faces that weren't flipped properly and flip those over. Now I'm going to look at my model in edges mode and start modeling some simple legs. I'm going to do something really basic for the legs. I'll select the two bottom <coughs> edges of the side edges and subdivide those. Multi, subdivide multi, number of cuts, two. And that'll be the start of a strapping that we'll attach the legs to. And I'm not going to take the bottom of the table too seriously. Uh, I'm really not planning on panning my camera underneath it or anything. So I'll box select the four vertices for one strapping, build a face. Do the same on the other side and build a face. And then I want to scale those faces so that they're not so uh, wide. So I'll deselect the inside vertices on both sides of those faces and just scale them out and I'll scale them out along Y so they don't get fatter along the width of the table. And I'll leave the other vertices where they are because they look fairly appropriate for, uh, for a location of the legs to come from. Then I'll go into faces mode. Oh, edges mode, I should say. Let's stay in that. Box select the two long edges of those strappings. And subdivide multi again. This time I'm going to use a number of cuts of four and OK. Go into faces mode. And select the inside three faces and erase them. But I'm going to erase only faces and that's going to leave the edges behind. Go back into edges mode and look at that from a side view. From a side view with those edges still selected I'll extrude them. There'll be no dialogue because there's only edges to extrude. I'll pull those down by three units. That looks good to me. And then I'll extrude them again drop them where they're at, and pull them down by another blender unit. And look at that from a front view. From a front view, I'll deselect all, box select the two, four center edges, and erase those edges. And that's it for my legs. There's only one thing left to do with these, and... That's to give them a material. So I'll box select that area. Deselect any of the additional selections that I've made here. And I don't really want selected. And with the straps and the legs selected, I'll add a new material. I'm not going to change the color of the material, but just the names. We'll call those legs. And 
With that done, I'm going to glance at my time and see how much I have left. Well, we still have five minutes left, so hopefully that'll prove to be enough. I'm going to deselect all, go back into the editing buttons, and have a look at the pocket material. What I'm going to do is go into vertices mode and select the pocket material. And they'll act like ver vertex groups. And as you can see, selecting the pocket material has selected the pockets, as well as a large section of the table. It selected the entire felt and portions of the wood as well. That's because they share vertices in common. Let's deselect that and go into faces mode and make the same selection. So it will select the pocket material. This time, rather than large sections of the table, the only thing that's selected is the pockets. And that's because none of the other portions of the model share any faces in common with the pocket material. And we're going to use that fact to separate all of our parts. Now, it is possible to separate them all at once by just pressing the P key and separating by material. But if we do that, we're going to lose an opportunity to organize some things. So I'm going to separate them individually. And by separating them individually, what I'll get is a little bit of organization for my different objects that result. So I'll just keep separating selected and using the materials to separate them. So I'll select the materials, use the P key to separate, separate selected. And I'll do that to all of the parts, except for the final one. And the final one will be the wood material, which is the wood of the tabletop. And we won't need to separate that. But one thing that we will do is change over to the wood material. And that's just so that when we go into object mode, as we select different components of the table, their materials will appear in the material panel, and it just organizes our blend in a way that will prove convenient. So when I select a pocket, the pocket material is selected. And in the next video, we're going to use these separate objects and unwrap them and start making some UV wrappings for this table. And that'll be in the next video. We'll start with the felt material, and I really don't have enough time to do anything more of that in this video. So I guess I'll just sign off, and we'll pick up in the next video and start making some UV face layout image and start unwrapping different parts of this thing and creating a an image in the graphics editor to to uh, place onto this model and increase its quality by quite a bit. So that'll be in the next video and until then, happy modeling!